figure out a way to pull the rug over people's what, eyes uh, here. What, what are our kids going to get in jail if we were Chinese right now and they played video games? How many months are they going to get? <laughs> Basically, I think you would, yeah, what is the you would do harder time. Uh, so moving on well, to our the, next the, story. No, the consequences is to the Chinese internet companies. No, well, what's the consequence to the kids if they're caught on video games? No, 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 no you're not. You're, oh, oh, I the don't companies know. have to turn it off. Right, right, right. All right, here we go. China bans young people from playing video games. This is for kids who are under the age of 18. They are now restricted from playing games on weekdays, can only play for three hours most weekends. And these were set as a response to China's physical and mental health being affected by gaming, according to Reuters. Uh, it limits... Um, I think they're doing what all American parents would want uh, our government to do for our kids. I, I don't disagree with that. Uh, gamers are now penalized if they don't obey, and the gaming companies will be as well. Gaming companies will have to prove they have an identification system in place, like do requiring you, monitors to you, use their do you real know names. How fucking hard it is! I have, I have, I have three kids in that age age range. I am sweating who they're texting, who they're talking to, what game they're playing, the new game they want to download. Fuck that. This is the only thing I've ever said that would make me want to move to China. This okay. one rule <laughs> this is, this, is the this, most incredible thing I've ever heard. And I and and it, they are so smart. By the way, what's so beautiful is they they send fentanyl and TikTok to us so that we get addicted to that shit. Totally. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And they're like, yeah. no, you guys are gonna learn STEM so that you can, you know, take over the world. It's beautiful, it's brilliant. Yeah, I, I would say like everything about China is is a measured decision. Right. The, 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 the Politburo, the decision makers are not sitting there randomly shooting from the hip based on intuition and saying, hey, I think we should stop video games. They seem bad for kids. There is clearly evidence and data and statistical models that are driving this decision. And their objective function is improve the health, the longevity and the economic prosperity of our society as a whole. I'm sorry. Did they you get this statement from China? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Continue, <laughs> comrade. I really, you got Comrade Friedberg, continue. Past, but I'm pointing out these guys are these guys generally don't make decisions based on someone's kind of like flippant intuition. They make decisions based on what they believe to be in the better interest. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but in the better interest of economic prosperity. They got prosperity a hundred year plan. Generally. Let's be honest. And so they want to win. Certainly you know. this, yeah. And I think we all know it intuitively. We we can certainly read reports. But in the United States, we value individual liberties above all else. And so we don't find ourselves in the circumstance. It seems foreign and scary and crazy. But again, it's another, um, in my we, opinion, sorry, it's oh, another tool We're that China get to something will use else to later. outcompete this century. Yes, that's true. But let's let's be clear. We we don't we don't value individual liberties. That's not true. That's just what we tell people. But that's not totally true. And you know that's that. A, <laughs> I'm not going to go there, but yes. Well, I mean, we are literally sitting here fighting. Uh, there is a, a group of individuals who are fighting to wear masks uh, or not have to wear masks, rather, not have to take the vaccine. And at the same time, and I don't know if we want to go there. Uh, we are denying a woman's um, we have right to, can to I, choose. Can I, can I, can I, can let's go to, just, let's go to the, David Sachs. Thing. David well, Sachs, uh, uh, are you in support of Texas's abortion ban? No, no, we're, 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 let's just hear uh, on China. No, no, I think it's a stupid law, and I'll explain why in a second. But just on the, the China thing for a second, um, this is like, I'll be a dissenting voice here. This is like if we had given Tipper Gore dictatorial powers. I mean, this is insane. They're going to, uh, they're going to determine how many hours a kid can play video games. I mean, look, I, I, I get the, the potential benefit, but this is incredibly intrusive into the lives of citizens. And I'm not sure that video game playing is altogether a negative thing. You know, I think it's mostly our kids go through a phase where they play a lot of games and they grow out of it. And, you know, you talk to developers, uh, computer programmers, they all went through some phase where they were like hyper addicted to video games. It, you know, builds hand-eye coordination, it builds um, sort of, uh, you know, computer uh, literacy. So I'm not sure it's like, that. look, obviously, if someone does nothing but computer games their whole life, that's a problem. But as a phase that a kid I, goes through, I it's not the end of the you. world. I agree with you because I used to play three hours of fucking Zelda a day when I came home because I was a, no, <laughs> I was a latchkey kid. No, because yeah. I was a latchkey kid and that I didn't is, have anybody to sense. take care of me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think, David, though, that that's what kids are getting when they're playing four hours of fucking Call of Duty every night. Four hours? And These I, kids I, are playing 10 hours a day. Well, by, by the way, yeah, I, think there's, I, I think China has another motivation for, for this ban, which is they've got a lot of, because of the one-child policy, right? They've got a radical 
uh, misbalance of you know male to female ratio. They've got a lot of young males without romantic prospects in that country. Basically, they have an incel problem. Incel. It, they have a yeah, ton of it's incels. A, it's a giant incel problem. And I don't think we hear much about it um, because they control the media. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's a lot of just random violence out there. And the last thing they want to do is have these incels playing Fortnite and Call of Duty, shooting people five hours a night, and then getting their br- brains wired that way. That might be playing into this decision. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, again, but, you're just but, validating yeah. the mental health aspect. They've studied the mental health implications yeah, of and, these video games. And, and, and I they think that's, say, my, that's my point. Enough. I'm not arguing for the ban. I'm arguing for the fact that China has certainly done something to indicate, they have some data that indicates why they should make this decision. It may be, you're right, it may be about kind of, you know, growing, getting people to be more romantic and get out of the house and go get married and have kids and whatnot. But there's certainly a, and and remember, their objective function is always about longevity and economic prosperity. So, you know, there's something that's making them say that we can increase economic prosperity, increase longevity by doing this. And that outweighs the whatever the detrimental social and other effects might be. Um, And, you know, I think there's something to read into it. But no matter what, every big decision they make has some degree of competitive advantage for them. And, you know, those kids, if they're not playing video games, they're going to be doing something else. Like, I don't know, programming computers, doing biotechnology in a lab, figuring stuff out on the internet, writing the next cryptocurrency. I don't know, but there's going to be some advantage that's going to arise out of the the time and the and the productivity that's going to be generated by this. And I think that's the calculus that they're undertaking here. I'm not saying it's yeah, right or wrong. No, no, just, we all just, agree yeah. they're thoughtful. The question is, what is this going to do for this generation if they don't play video games? Are they going to be more productive? Are they going to be, you know, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll be they'll be good drones for the the collective, you know, <laughs> that's right. And, no, you're and, right. You're right. <laughs> you're exactly and, right. And, yeah. and, and that's that's the downside here is even if they get it right in this particular case, how much freedom do you have to give up? How much state surveillance is there in the enforcement? And how many other insane policies will they foist on people with this mentality of you don't get to live your life individually? You got to serve this, this is collective. actually, I think your best point, Sex, is that I think what could happen here is you can overplay a hand and by squeezing people too tightly. You can't play video games. Uh, you can't run your own companies. You're going to get replaced. You, know, you can't practice your own religion. You you can't say what you want. Be a journalist. These things could add up, and and they could you know piss off a, a young group of people who do what happened in Tiananmen Square or in Hong Kong, and they could be dealing with uh, you know their own revolution. And what if it's video games? Uh, revolutions have started over similarly seemingly simple acts by an authoritarian government taking away people's right to sell fruit on the street you know uh, famously started um the spring awakening uh in the middle east so you 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 could see this actually i think you know maybe it's a small chance five percent or ten percent you know creating a lot of social unrest do you want to all right should we go to texas you guys want to talk about that I speaking mean, I, of I'm social gonna, unrest I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind here uh, all right, here we go. SB8 creates a private 